Hello and welcome back to the Fed Talks. My name is Nathan Hall and today we're with Jason Burks, one of our Fed members. Jason, how are you doing? I'm very well, Nathan. Thank you. Fantastic. So we're talking all things Premier, their new uh, small store format today. Um, it, 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 it's, it's a new concept, but it's brilliant. Um, it offers smaller retailers, those between 300 square feet and 600 square feet, the opportunity to have those standard Premier benefits. And that's from the free e post to the free fair share of the imagery and the promotional point of sale. So it's a fantastic offering. And Jason's gone through that. So first of all, uh, Jason, um, tell us a little about your store. Where are you based and the, and the basics of your store? So I'm in a ex mining village, Horden, in County Durham, um, quite close to our foreign head office. Um, with demographics, we're an ex mining village. Um, you know, not not an affluent area at all, really. Quite, uh, quite, you know, um, sort of, not not definitely not affluent. Um, you know, the, the range uh, before the fit up. You know, we 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 had a massive range of different things. You know, a customer would actually get something in, you get it in. Um, so you know, we uh, we really did need to rationalise that range. Um, you know, so obviously we took the plunge to to reinvest in the small store format. It seemed to fit our um, demographic quite well. Absolutely. So it's been twelve months for you now, Jason, hasn't it? So since that refit, what which of the improvements has really have you seen the most benefits from? So I mean, I think it's it's, it's mainly about the reorganisation of the store. So everything flows now. So you know, you walk into the store, you've got the refresh area where we had slush machines in one pit, the coffee machine in another, the tank wise blast in another. Now everything in the refresh area is in one place. Uh, we've put a lot more refrigeration in. Uh, we've concentrated on the fresh uh, and frozen more. Um, so you know, it's it's more of a you know, uh, it fl- it's the shop store flows a lot better. It's not as much um, you know, as, as bits and pieces all over the store. Um, so obviously, we've extended the fresh range. Uh, we've extended again the same with the vape range. We have different um, counters and counter displays. We've now got all in uh, in sliding glass cabinets, so it's all in one place. It looks good. It's it's easy for the customer to find the product we're looking for. Um, you know, we've got a small range of American confectionery. You know, we've got the backlit spirits, uh, which we extended. We already had a small section of backlit spirits. But now we've doubled that size of that. So obviously spirit sales have, have increased, uh, you know, quite quite well. So, you know, all in all, it's, it just gives you that um, nice concept feeling that uh, the store flows really well. And it, it, it's, it's easy for the customer to shop and find what they want. Absolutely. I've seen some images of your store, Jason, so I can really vouch for everything you're saying. Now, customer is king. What has the three main reactions been from your customer base? Um, the main reaction was the first one, but it's two pots of shopping here now for, for the area. <laughs> but <they're, laughs> people were joking, but no, it's generally been really well received from from a customer point of view. Um, you know, the, the, you know, like I say, the, the store is clean. It's it's modern. It's up to date. You know, it's uh, you know, it, I'm not saying it wasn't a pleasant place to shop before, but it obviously it's a nice place to come into. It looks like a you know a, a well run sort of corporate store sort of thing. Absolutely. And as a small store, it is a big step. So what, what guidance and support have you had from Booker? Uh, yeah, so, um, we have, you know, I have a, I have a really good um, RDM, you know. Um, so, you know, we have a good relationship. Um, you know, Steph, she helps me out when, when I need her. I pick up the phone, you know, I call her. You know, she was with me all the way through the, the refit, you know, that week of the refit. Uh, you know, it was a very stressful time. You know, not everything goes smoothly. Uh, and you're on a really tight time schedule. Um, she was there every day, you know, help, offering support, help where she could, uh, you know, and then after when we opened, you know, she offered support and help and, you know, all the way through, you know, the different um, aspects from Booker's were really helpful, you know, from the store design, you know, uh, they did the store design, I wasn't quite happy with certain areas of it, you know, me and myself and my wife discussed it, uh, we went back to them, you know, they redid it, you know, it wasn't a problem, it, you know, I had to work for them and for us. You know, um, from a you know from a from a design point of view, uh, and you know, bookers listened, they take notice, and you know, we came to a you know a compromise where it suited everybody. And also, Jason, we know that the the Jack's own brand is very important to premier retailers. Do you want to tell us a little a little bit about that? Yeah, so the uh, the Jack's brand's gone from strength to strength um, over the over the time period. Um, the bookers have evolved it. Uh, it's very popular with customers. Um, people see the value in it. Um, the, the products are good quality. Um, you know, so people come and rebuy it, and that's what that's what all any retailer can ask for. Uh, obviously, we do regular promotions with Premier as part of the package. You know, we get free point of sale. Um, you know, we get the posters, we get the leaflets. You know, and the customers will receive the you know the deals that we have on through uh, fresh and frozen. You know, um, so yeah, the customers love it. That's 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 what's the most important thing. Absolutely, and Jason, just to finish off there, there'll be plenty of retailers that do fit in that three hundred to six hundred square foot bracket. So if you had one thing to say to them, what would it be? Um, you know, it, it, it's a big investment. You know, um, you know, I, I, you know, we, we spent circa a hundred thousand pound doing the stuff. Um, I'll see, I'll see that return probably in twelve to eighteen months. You know, I've got most of the return back 
because of the increased margin, uh, increased turnover. Um, so if you're thinking about you're on the cusp, you've already got a reasonably busy store. I would say don't hesitate. So uh, I, you know, I wish I'd done it a few years ago, but really the concept wasn't there. So now Butler's have released this concept. Uh, you know, it suited my uh, size store down to the ground. Um, you know, they're focused in on that, and I think uh, you know, like I said, my, my thing would just don't hesitate, get get the money and do it. Absolutely. Sounds very much worthwhile, Jason. Well, thank you for joining us. For the retailers watching this, if you do fit in that bracket, if it sounds of interest to you, um, the contact details will be on the screen here. So do reach out to Booker, uh, register your interest, and thank you for watching.